Now you know my last few videos have been with my tractor haven't they? No, I've done really sit on my bum and show it. So, my tractor's sold, it's not, uh, they've not collected it yet, but there will be. Anyway, I've several things to show you and tell you. Well, one is, I thought, well, the whole idea of selling my tractor, of course, which people say don't do, but the whole idea is to do something that I can manage to do. That's the whole idea. Um, and with it coming winter, I need to go inside, so I've, I haven't cleared this, my little shed that was here all the while. I've not touched it, not looked inside it, or touched it. So I was going to call this video, what's in my shed? Right, but I don't need to, because it's junk. Right, I'll show you. I think you've seen it before. Anyway, there's nothing much in there at all. It's all got to go to the dump, basically, or most of it. Right, and I thought, well, if I uh, just clear it out, more or less clear it out, that's all, and then in the winter, not do much, just run an extension lead to it and put my fan heater in, and I could just run an engine in here or something like that, but I can't do in the house. That was all it is. It doesn't matter if I do or not. But I just thought it may be something that I can do. So I started to clear it out, then I noticed that uh, it's gone a bit rotten on this side, look, as you can see, but that's simple because it doesn't matter about it, it's only got to last a few months, so I've got some of that board inside, haven't I? You know, a bit of hardwood or something, just nail on there, it doesn't need to be anything very elaborate at all, it's only got to last a few months. So, I've sort of had a bit of a start at that job. And uh, this is, you get digressed, don't you, doing these things. So while I'm doing that, remember these tools I got, I thought, well, I'm not going to use them. So, I'll, uh, I'll weigh them in. You know, I can't keep everything. I've got to have a clear out. And then I thought, well, it's a bit of a shame. Now, you know my mate Martin that uh, we met, uh, you saw with me tractor video the other week. And we've, uh, he's been here and... Uh, took a video of my mystery engine, didn't he, if you remember? Well, he's bought, bought some old tools. And last week, um, he got a toolbox and he's done that. And, oh, thousands of people looked at that. I mean, toolbox, I don't really like them things. Anyway, he did some of the, he got two of these. Monkey wrenches, I call them. They, they were known as monkey wrenches. The reason is that uh, monkeys, rather than engineers, use them. They're old type adjustable spanners. Well, his were really rusted up. And uh, I got this one. And what's re this is really what's decided me. I thought, well, it's a bit, I don't like throwing things away, as you know. And I thought, well, I'm not going to do it quite like his because I don't know what make, if this is make or not. His was really rusty and he polished his all up. But I'm not actually going to because it's got either casting or machining marks on the back, whichever it is. There, and I think it's a casting mark where it's been cut off, I'm not sure. So I thought it's better to keep it like that. So all I'm going to do basically is give it a wash and I've, well I've been shopping, I'll show you a bit later and bought some stuff. I've got a drop of white spirit left. So all I'm going to do is take this off and give it a wash off and we'll clean it up and then I'll uh, give it a wire brush up and we'll see how it comes. I'm not doing, we're not actually copying each other. He, I did a Jenny and he did quite the champs and it's simply that he's given me the idea. We all get ideas from each other, don't we? And rather than just throw these, I looked in here and he had done one and I looked online actually this isn't one, but a King Dick one. I don't want, there's a maker's name on there somewhere, I will find it. But there's a King Dick one, it's 55 quid. <laughs> so I thought, well, I don't really want to be chucking these, do I? I'm weighing them in. Be easy job just to sand them up and do them. So I'm not doing them quite the same as Martin did, which uh, he used all his equipment, didn't he? That's all right, it's got a slight bend, we can do that. There's that to do and that to do. So this is, it's quite a quick little job this is. So I thought, just for something to do and something a little bit different. Look, we've got this 
bought, bought another drum of this as well today, so we've got plenty. Anyway, we don't need very much to do these with, except I'm going to have to stop in a moment because I need something to go in those threads, to get the oil out those threads. That's all I haven't got, a bigger brush. So I'm going to have to get that. But it's ever so simple look to do these. A bit of white spirit and do that, you know. And, uh, well, I don't <laughs> We have a laugh with Martin, don't we? We have a laugh with him, I think he was. He's got uh, all sorts of stuff, you know. But I, as I've said in the past many times, paraffin or white spirit, washing water and wire, rotary wire brush off is about as best you can do for cleaning. It really is. Not the easiest by a long way, but it is the best. The reason I do my, um, as I say, we're not doing the same because I'm doing different, aren't I? I'm talking to you while I do mine. Martin just uh, does a silent video and uh, sets it in high speed. I'm not going to do that. I'd rather, so we'll show you this a little bit. And as you can see, it doesn't take much at all to... Because all you've got to do, you see, if you get the grease off, which is what I'm doing, obviously, all the grease will come off. But the thing is, as I say, you can actually see the original machining marks on this. And where possible, whenever you're restoring anything, you never restore... You never destroy age. That's the golden rule. People that restore cars... I've told you many, many times about this. It takes 80, 90 years to get them to look like that. Tractors as well. And uh, 60, 70 years to get to look like that. And then they go and clean it all off and paint it and make it like brand new. And which you can buy hundreds off a forecourt like that. So, not everyone. No, it depends obviously on the condition and the originality of the tractor. And mine isn't original, of course, my tractor one. So it didn't really matter about that one. Anyway, there you go. Right, I said I've been shopping. I've got a wire brush to go on the grinder. So let's just see if it does this. Look at that. I don't think it's going to take long at all. Look, I'll just show you that. That won't need anything else. Right? Definitely will not need anything else. I'll do this little side just to show you. But that's all it needs. bits in here sorry I'm not putting in the right place am I? all these bits in here look I'll do and I can do them upstairs I've got my dremel haven't I you know and as you can see that's you know that's come all clean now and it doesn't take very long at all which is why we're doing it today right I'll get on and clean this up and that bit as you've seen it doesn't take long now, I've done that look and it didn't take long at all and I hope you can see that it's come... That wire brush is most expensive. I told you they're the best way of doing them. Look at that. It took literally minutes to do and it's come absolutely perfect. That has. So there's just a bit in there to do which I can get at and that bit in there. There. So, I'll just... Uh, do that, this little bit and you'll see how quickly it is. Anyway, that's 
didn't take long at all and all I've got to do now you can see in there look see that's and you can probably I can't get the light on it but anyway you'll take it from me that's done and uh, there's a little tiny bit in the bottom there and a bit in here so I'm just going to do that with the Dremel right just to show you how quickly it is I'm going to do I've got a little hand wire brush here look see and I'm just doing it with this in this square I've done the rest and this won't take many seconds at all as you can see so it's the only bit of handwork I've had to do the trick is the trick is is to make sure that all the oil and mucks off and wash it off in water and as long as the metal is free of grease it will clean up just like that look see can you see that's cleaned up superb now I don't know if you can see that but it's got a very slight bend on it so I'm just going to straighten that it's, um, it doesn't take it didn't much it's quite thin it's there just stopping it going in a little bit so any hammer will do I've got a cup for hammer that I don't need it it's just one I picked up and that's it I think let's have a look no it needs that bit there tiny bit that way oh, I the thread just holding it in the right like that that's it you nearly do it with your hand now is that straight yeah not just a nuts there just a nuts there that's it have a look now right that's spot on yeah let me just zoom out now there you are I don't know if you can see down there I'm trying to hold it and hold the viewfinder and stuff but that's spot on now so that's all done so now it's just a case of I am going to just flat that off as I said on the belt sander I'm not grinding it smooth like Martin did I'm just taking these rough edges off I'll show you that bit oh, I've got to press record anyway you haven't missed anything I've done that side look see and all I did was put it in the belt sand I've used the foot switch look and I've just done it like this that's all I've done just so you can see that that's done now that's brand new clean now as you can see so what I'm going to do before I put it together now is just polish it up on the, my new buffing wheel. So we'll just do one little bit. I'll do that bit and then I'll do the other bit and then we'll pop it together and it'll be finished. And on the floor here I've bought some new metal polish, some Solve Lord Sol, which is good stuff. So uh, I'm sure you can see that bit. I'll leave the camera on record and then I'll God, the number of times you do that, everyone does it as well, I'm not on my own there. Um, you press, you turn the camera on and you think it's on because the screen's on. But you haven't pressed record. Whereas on the old type, when you press record, the screen came on. So there we are. We don't need a lot of this on. So uh, we'll just put, we've got to charge the wheel first. The other one was working, but it didn't work that well at the end. So I'll just do this bit first. I won't bore you watching it all. Stand to the side while the splash goes. There we are. That put the bit to the side. Just dry off, that Nice. <laughs> 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 
so this is doing a good job as well. Right. I'll do that because I can. Here we are. Get out my... <laughs> Let me just zoom out a minute. Look, like my nice black, newly decorated t-shirt. Hey, now you get lots of bits of fluff off a, a new buffing wheel, but it's done a good job. I'm sure you can agree. Look, I'm sure you can see that. Look, it's done a superb job, hasn't it? And it's still got all its character, which is what I was after. You know, and if you look at the I'll show you the top of that bit because I can sort of show you it easier. That bit you can't see very well. That's all. You can see it, but you can't see it very well. But there's some marks. It's quite soft, you see, and some marks. But it's got that nice and flat. And that all works now. So I've just got to polish this bit up. And the knurly knob, which is brand new clean, and we'll put it together. Right, there's all the bits cleaned up, looking all polished. There's the knurly knob. Right, I'll put a spot of oil in there, I'll just use the brush, that's all. Just put a spot of oil in there. So that goes in there like that. That knurly knob, it's got a, it goes up upwards because there's like an indent in there. As I say, it's on your rough one. But there we go. Now, look at that. When I picked this up, as you know, it didn't work. I had to use pliers and stuff to get the bits. So it's not taking too long, it's still only a cheap one, but there we are, it works all the way down there, and that's as close as they go, right? But you don't need the nuts smaller than that, do you? And it's kept all its character, right? I'll just wipe it with this oily rag, which will stop it going rusty again, it's all been polished up. So I think you'll agree that that's been a couple of hours or three hours, what it is, well spent. And like I said, it's really thanks to Martin showing us that. And I looked on, this isn't one, but there's one of these on eBay. A branded name one, and I can't, I ain't got, well I've got my glasses, but I can't see a name on this. But uh, there's a branded name one on there for £55, so I think that's, uh, you know, that's been worth doing, hasn't it? Right, there's the story for today. We'll see what we can find for you soon.